there now in arena tonight. Lipscomb gets a big win over NJIT, 77 to 63. Jonathan and Justin Seaman courtside here in Allen Arena on the Don Meyer Court. We're joined by the big man Dan Lowe, Hassan Asajla, and I will apologize out of the blocks. <laughs> you were perfect four from fourth and free throw line until I said something, so I will take full blame for that tonight. But no, another fine. great game, another double double for you tonight. Yes, Congratulations. Thank you, I appreciate it. It, it was one of those games where the Bisons came out of the blocks early, played well, and then NJIT missed some shots early, but then to start the second half, they came out with energy. Yeah. Uh, we, we knew that after the first half that we had, that they was going to come out trying to make a run, and we was able to take it, take the hit on the 10 and fight back and keep the lead. So, no, one, of the, one of the keys in this, first half, they're going man-to-man -man against you, not really doubling, and that's right in your wheelhouse. You like that. You got a lot of options there. Second half, they go zone and mix things up a little bit. Harder to kind of get worked into a rhythm, but finally do towards the end of the second half. Yeah, we was um, expecting like a double team or, or a zone because they zoned us the first time. So we was, we was pretty prepared for it. Uh, it got us off guard for like a, a few plays in a row, but then we got adjusted to it. So it was fun. You do a great job passing the ball, feeding it to players. That's why you're doing such a great job with points, rebounds, and assists. But KJ Johnson and I gave you, I think, three great passes for you to score off. Yeah, he's, I, I love it when he gets like real aggressive to um, attack the basket because he draws in a lot of help and he's a great passer. He, he has a good court vision, and I appreciate that. Man. One of those things that we're getting kind of winding down the A Sun, four games left, but. It does seem like you guys, I mean, a new coach coming in, but really kind of starting to hit your stride a little bit. Everybody knows where everybody else is going to be. It's starting to feel like. And then I thought tonight, offensively, this team's been pretty good all year. Defensively, I thought in the first half, y'all really stepped up. Yeah, we've been working on, on defense all week because we knew the first time they scored a lot of points on us. And uh, we struggled on offense, but we knew that if we guarded them well, we'll get good shots. Congratulations, yeah. Asadra. Great Thank job. You. Getting another double-double here tonight, and good win for the Bisons. Let's take a look at the listing of the game. We'll take a look at Lipscomb out-rebounding uh, NJIT 36-29 in assists, 17-9. Phil Gold shooting outshot him 56-35. Three-point shooting 31 to 18, and again, part of that is because they missed like their first 12 NJID hit and turnovers 12 tonight. Let's look at the line too as you look at some things here. Uh, again, NJIT, uh, they were one of 12 from uh, three point land in the first. Lips, they end up 4 12 for the game. Lipscomb ends up 5 of 16 from three point land. Got to look at Asajo, 11 of 16, 0 of 1 from three point land. We didn't talk to him about that. And then 5 of 6 at the free throw line. He got 10 total rebounds and 27 points tonight. Had three assists, three turnovers, and three steals in the ball game. And we'll get Coach uh, to make his way in here, and we'll get uh, Coach Lenny Acup in here. No, I just read the entire stat sheet while you're waiting <laughs> okay, on the coach. Yeah, uh, yeah. Just down to kind of the last numbers. Congratulations, guy. <laughs> well, thank you. It's good. I, I thought we played well. Um, you know, they were really the team of all the teams in the league. They handled us the easily. easily. They, they just took us to the woodshed up there. And we really challenged our guys this week that, you know, I, I think they've got a good team. I think he does a great job with them. But I said, we, we can play better than what we played up there. Now, they had a lot to do with it up there. But. That was the one time we really got it handed to us. Most teams don't forget when they go to the woodshed. And so well, you came out playing hard. Well, we tried to remind them every day. <laughs> and uh, But we were fortunate. I, I thought us, I thought Greg got us off to a real good start. And then Hassan was incredible in the first half. I mean, he's, he's playing really, really good basketball. And uh, I was proud of our guys when they got it back to five that we didn't wilter. We just kind of stayed the course. We had a couple guys step up and make shots. I thought KJ played played really well, played a really good floor game. Uh, yeah, that's what I was going to say. I, you know, a sign of a team that's really growing and becoming a really good team is when you get punched in the mouth, you don't just fold, you kind of punch back. And I thought you get, I mean, they came out first seven minutes of the second half. They had all the energy. Yeah. They were really punching at you. They get it to two and then Carson Carey hits a big three over there in the corner to get it to five, and then you go on that 9-0 run. Well, you know, Carson has really had a nice role for our team this year. He, I mean, I think every time he shoots it, it's going in. And uh, he really has helped us in many, many, many games. And, and he missed one shot, and I said, you're going to make the next one. And Buck did a nice job of finding him on the out-of-bounds play, and he knocked it in. So, um, you know, I, I feel like we're growing as a team. Um, that's four out of six, three in a row, four out of six, and the two we've lost have been 
in overtime and by two. And so uh, we're making progress, but you know, Gulf Coast comes in on Saturday and that'll be a very tough game. When you look back over this game, there's so many bright spots, but I'm like you, KJ's assists, the passes he made too. Uh, but then look at this dunk. He gets to go yeah. up and put one in. I'll be honest with you, I've seen him do it after practice. I've never <laughs> seen him do it in live play, so that was good. And, and I think anytime you talk about our team, I think it, it's so easy to get lost. Buck does so many things for yeah. our team that people take for granted. I promise you I don't. I, I thought he did a really good job defensively, and he's just rock solid. I don't even know what his numbers were tonight, but they're, they're, he just plays winning basketball. We had nine second half points, I think. It just a, seems like that kind of, you need something, he's going to get you in yeah. the right spot. He, he, he's really a winner. Uh, I'm a big fan of his. So well, He hit a big three that we needed and a lot of things. You end up with four players in double figures tonight. Just sort of a kind of a balanced game. And, uh, you know, fouls didn't become a problem. Didn't get in foul trouble there. Most of the fouls called late in the game. Yeah, we really have tried to talk to Hassan about staying out of foul trouble early. It seems like every game he gets two fouls and he's playing backwards the rest of the game. And so because he didn't get anything early, he was able to play aggressively the whole first half. Half. He went through a stretcher in the first half. I mean, he was he was a 10. Oh, man. He was spinning and taking that ball whichever way he, He's really got, good he was going. So He's you really got good. now, you got Florida Gulf Coast coming in. Quick turnaround. Another team that got you when you're on the road. What are you going to need to try to do against them? Well, we better get off to a better start than we did down there. They got a, they got on us 19-2 to two to start the game. I mean, it, we were, we were it was over before the national anthem got done. <laughs> and and we, we're going to have to start better. But I think they've got a nice team. They're like us. You know, they're, they're a game behind us, obviously, but they've lost several really close games. They could be much better. Coach, congratulations. I like seeing that asterisk. That means you are in the A-Sun Mad uh, March Madness is coming around, A-Sun Madness, and you've moved up to the four line with this win here tonight. Well, we like to keep on moving. But we, 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 we're going to really fight real hard to have a good practice tomorrow and try to be ready to play on Saturday at 430. Congratulations, Coach. Bison's win tonight over NJIT 77-63. It's going to be doubleheader Saturday right here in Allen Arena. It'll be uh, Star Wars Day. It'll also be Adoption Rally. It'll be Florida Gulf Coast at 430. And you can keep up with everything at LipscombSports.com.